once upon a time, in a wild, wild world, there were two wolf brothers living in their home lair with their papa wolf. They all lived happily together, but one day, hunters took their dad away. Forever. So now the brothers were alone. And they had to find a new home. That's when the big brother discovered that the little one was not an ordinary wolf, but a super wolf. And then they worked together to learn how to use his power and to follow the rules for them. They discovered a secret hideout where they could train day and night. They were happy. But the little wolf got very sick, so they had to move on. On the way, a deadly predator attacked them. But they scared it away. They decided to journey to the home of their nearby ancestors to seek help. Finally, the tired and hungry brothers made it to the home of their ancestors. The old wolves invited them to stay. They even took care of them. They were happy to have a safe, warm place to rest. The little wolf even made friends with a raccoon, and together they went on awesome adventures. Unfortunately, hunters were hot on their trail and found them. But the tiny raccoon helped the brothers escape and got badly hurt. The brothers had nowhere to stay again, so they decided to keep going south to the distant homeland of their papa wolf. No way, you little shit. Daniel, get your ass over here now. <sighs> He's so busted. Of course. Like, I want to play fucking hide-and-seek.
Oh, no time for this. Where are you? Whoa, hold on. Let go! S stop it! Dude, I told you to stay out of my room. Ow! That hurt! Yeah, I'm not fucking around anymore. Got it? Do you hear me, Daniel? You shall not enter your brother's room. Watch out, man! You started it, dickhead! What is this crap? Are you fighting again? You proud of yourself? Stop it! Enough! Getting tired of this. Sean, what happened? Now! Dad, I told him not to come so into my room. He never listens. He hit me and broke the trophy. He's lying. He always does that when he gets busted. Little shit. Enough! You both better listen because I'm tired of this crap, okay? This is my house too, not your playground. You hear me? Jeez. You guys are working my last nerve this week. You okay, mijo? I'm going to talk with your brother. You know the drill. Bedroom and no games. I didn't do anything. Uh-huh. Let's talk. Oh, now. This is so stupid. It's bullshit. Okay. You really taught that book a lesson. You done? Hmm? Whatever. Like you're gonna believe me. Daniel's always right. Look. Please? <sighs> Listen, Sean. I can't do this on my own. I... I can't. I need you to help me. I know you don't want to babysit Daniel. You grow up, you need space, more freedom. I get it. But we're a trio now, and you gotta take some responsibility. That little shit is just a kid. You're almost an adult. I always look out for him, but I can't stop him from creeping around my room. Even you told him. He's just... Spoiled. So were you. And you had eight years of being spoiled before you had to share toys with your little brother. I know it might sound cheesy, but we have to be good role models for him. He's a Diaz, right? Okay, I hear you. I'll try to be super bro. Just try to be there for him, like you are now. Yes, <laughs> says mi hijo. I'm late for work. Go talk to your brother and work this drama out. We'll go to the movies tonight if you guys don't wreck the house. I know you love to hear this. But I'm proud of you. Both of you. Okay. Get back to work. Can I come in? It's the big, bad brother. No! Stay out! I said no! Get out! Whatever! I'm not listening! La 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 la! I come don't on, hear anything! Dude. La 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 la! Man, my brother's a little player. 
Lila loves it. Whoa. Don't know who drew this, but it's totally rad. Hey, Daniel. Why are you pouting? A young space warrior should never pout. We need to stand strong against the enemy. Come on, man. I'm running out of punchlines here. Leave me alone. What is he making with all that crap? And don't touch my stuff. So lucky Noah lives downtown. Hells, they drive me crazy 24-7. Oh, you kept this guy. We got him from that creepy circus, remember? You wanted him so bad. Got him for you shooting at that freaking target. Yeah, right. Dad, aim the gun. So what? You still won. Because of me. Why are you still here? Sean! Damn. Haven't seen you in forever. That made me give this to you. You always wanted my toys. Does this even work anymore? Not after you took care of it. Poor robot. No battery. Duh. I can't hear you. Oh, I forgot about Bobby the Yeti. <laughs> I brought it back from that field trip to Vancouver. I mean, who does that? Other than a super cool big brother. Ah, he's right, Daniel. You should totally forgive him. See? I'm not saying it. Bobby does. <laughs> Come on, go away. Oh, now you can hear me? Just leave me alone. Hey, that's cool. Did you make it? Be careful. Whoa. It's fragile. No problem. Suddenly, you're Mr. Careful. <sighs> okay, if I sit down. <sighs> so. When did you get this? Last month. Dad said I should learn to do stuff by myself. Since you're not around as much. Hey, come on. It's not like I'm leaving home. You might as well. I never see you. We don't even play games anymore. We don't do anything. Daniel, I just... I want to hang out with my friends sometimes. You're going to be doing the same thing in a couple of years. Hi. I don't want to grow up. It's boring. Here. Sorry I took it. That's what you wanted? That stupid watch? You said you'd give me one at the thrift store last week, but... You forgot, like before. Well, you better keep this watch then. Wow, thanks, Sean. This is so cool. I'll keep it forever and ever.
Hey, Bedhead. Had a good sleep? Oh, hi, uh, yeah, I, I did. Thanks. Nice. Okay, I better hit the shower before they use all the water. Right. See you around. Hey, Sean. Breakfast time. Did you see all that fog earlier? Creeps me out. I don't know what's inside. Ah, oh, like no room. more fog. The sun has saved us. Sweet. Most of them are into fancy hippie food. And fast food junk. Coffee time, Sean. Man, grass, I'm gonna sit your ass down. What? You hear that? Um, I heard nothing, Penny. Mm, maybe it was the coffee brewing. Never mind. You can't hear? Only me. I don't understand. Why? How you miss all those insects? How the fuck? The swarm is coming. You mean bugs? I haven't seen many flying bugs. Not in the winter, at least. Sean. Sean. Narcs, stealth drones, all that shit. Wake up, boy. Look up. You... saw them? When? How? Because Vision and Sean... they watching us now. That would be shit for me and Anders to lose the job. The cash is good for us to travel. So, then, where's your next pit stop? We want to see all the cowboys in Austin. But we spent too much money so far. Traveling is expensive. Depends how you travel. I mean, look at us. Cush, yeah. But not when they legalize that shit. Then you can work legal on the farm, right? Not if the government steps in. Then the pigs, pill pushers, all bad. It's legal in Washington, and it's worked out okay. It's gonna be legal everywhere, soon anyway. Legal but controlled. By who? The bitches who made it against the law. Yay, freedom. I don't know. Things have to change. Oh, um, did anybody see Daniel? I haven't seen him this morning. I saw him walking with Finn. They were headed to the lake. Thanks, Ingrid. I better see what he's up to. Tell him no swimming. That lake is toxic, man. Nasty. 